everyone, it's Lexi, and I decided to do a video that I kind of been thinking about doing for a little while. And I just started a new thing here recently that has to do with makeup, and I kind of wanted to give you like a play-by-play -play of my makeup history and life and um, what I plan on doing for the future and just all of that. So. Um, to start off with, I wanted to kind of tell my story. Um, I was probably about five years old when I decided I liked makeup, which, you know, every little girl has wow. locks and stuff. But um, for me, it was more of a, like, passion. I used to have those little nails that you would stick on your, like, finger. And I would repaint those and, you know, mess with that. I would love messed with my mom's makeup, and I was just all into that. So about middle school, I was really, really into wanting to do makeup. My mom actually had to tell me um, a certain age that I could wear it. Like, she was wanting me to wait um, until I was, you know, a little older. So um, it was about sixth grade when I started wearing uh, lip gloss and eyeliner and, you know, mascara but I didn't wear a lot of it. But I would mess around with it and um, I would just do different looks. And I just loved messing with different kinds. Like that's what I would spend my money on would be makeup. Um, so yeah, so I had, I had a lot of um, passion for like experimenting with makeup and looks. And um, I just really enjoyed it. And about high school, I had already wore makeup pretty much all. I never, I went without it, but I never really always liked wearing makeup. I got up in time all through school to put on my makeup, and I really enjoyed it. I never, like, got tired of it, and through high school, um, I had already decided that I was going to take cosmetology. I decided that pretty early on, and I knew I didn't want to be a teacher or a nurse or anything like that. As, as a kid, I never really wanted to do anything like that. That's not me. I'm not going to do something I hate and be miserable. And um, it's just, I definitely knew I wanted to do something really girly. So, um, after high school, I graduated and was going to go straight to college. Like, I had planned not to take a break, not to do anything like that, just to get right in it. So, um, I am just now about to finish cosmetology school and I'm really excited finally and um, it was not what I expected. I don't know if I've ever told you guys this or said it in a video but you kind of end up teaching yourself a lot of stuff especially if you're not going to a specific cosmetology school. Um, this school is a te technical school so you know they have a lot of different you know majors and stuff so but I chose my cosmetology because it doesn't just teach you makeup or hair or something like that. It teaches you all of it. So you get a little bit of everything. Um, for some reason, I went through a stage thinking I would do hair because I figured, you know, more people get their hair done than they do makeup. Just because men get their hair cut makes it a little bit more of a hair kind of thing. But to me, it's more about what I love. Do something every day that I'm miserable with, you know. Especially when I know deep down that I'm meant to do something. So, um, I always had this dream of, like, doing makeup on runway models, on movie stars. And I know that I can do that. I know with enough practice and enough passion in something, you can do it. And, um, so yeah. I still haven't. Um, officially made it to where I want to be, but I know that progress is definitely happening, and I'm really excited. The next thing I want to talk about is where I am now. Okay, so finishing cosmetology school as a professional or master cosmetologist. I will have my certificate, my license, and everything after I go to boards. That means certified to do makeup. I can go to training saying I do have my cosmetology license, which also says I am more advanced than just someone coming straight off the street to makeup school. So I do have that as a background. So that's good. 
But I decided, you know, I wanted to do more than just cosmetology school. And I do eventually want to do makeup school online because there's not a makeup school around here and I'm not going to travel to um, New York or anything like that to go to makeup school because that would definitely be too expensive. So, um, I was really thinking about going to stores around here that do makeup, which like Belk and stuff like that. There's not that many around here. The reason the thought of being a makeup salesperson wasn't the same to me as being a makeup, like a makeup artist. I don't know why, but it didn't. But for some reason, the other day at, at work, not the other day, the other month, um, I noticed this lady's purse, and I really liked it. I love Michael Kors, and I have a Michael Kors bag, and um, I'm looking for a specific one. And she had that bag, and this is what makes it really weird. I complimented her on her bag and told her that I was looking for one like that. And she was like, yeah, I love this bag, MK. I actually sell Mary Kay, but I like Michael Kors, she said. So this kind of stands for both. I was like, that's smart. And she just kind of, you know, talked to me about makeup. And I was like, well, that's good. I said, I'm interested in makeup, and I do plan on pursuing my dream in that. And she's like, well, your makeup looks really good. And hey, Amanda, if you're watching this, um, I'm sorry I'm telling our whole story of how we met, but I just like, it's so awesome to me that this is all happening. So I figured I would share it with everyone. But anyways, so she gave me her card, her business card, and I ended up um, think finding her on Facebook, and then we got a hold of each other, called her, she called me back, and all this. So we planned a date to meet, a date to meet lunch and I met her for lunch it was so much fun I could tell that me and her would make awesome friends like she is the sweetest person and I know that people get scared sometimes because you know their jobs are kinda to get people under them to help them make money and I understand that I knew that going into it but also I could be that person soon too you know like I could be the one trying to get people under me well after talking to her for a little while, I knew that this could be where I started off. This can be my training. This could be where I finally realized that I need practice and I can work on my sales and just a lot of things could benefit from this as well as making friends because around here there's not that many people who are interested like me and my age. I'm kind of young for... A lot of a lot of makeup stuff like people are surprised when I tell them how old I am they're like wow you're pretty young and I'm like I know but I'm like I have such a passion for it and I without a doubt know I meant to do this so and she just she's really sweet and she's a, a godly lady and that has a lot to do for me with the business like I really appreciate it that they are a Christian based business. So I did sign with Mary Kay that day. She was very sweet and very considerate. There are still a lot of questions I have and I need to write down but this feels like a building stone for me. A building block that I can um, learn and like help myself become a better makeup artist, a better person and meet new people. That's that's what I'm most excited about is meeting other girls who are as passionate as I see on here and like just YouTube in general is very passionate about what they do and they love makeup and I want to meet people like that. Like there's people that wear makeup around here but they're not like passionate about it. Like I wake up in the morning and I'm excited to do a different makeup look. I'm excited to mess with colors and new products and stuff. I would love love to do that for a living and get paid for it. That's awesome to me. So anyways, enough rambling. I'm a Mary Kay consultant now and I am advertising Mary Kay um, by business cards, which I love my business cards. And I also have stuff on my car and I think that's what I'm like ready for is advertising because I know that'll help me in so many ways. Because you really can't get your name out there unless you advertise and get other people to advertise for you. So that's what I'm doing. 
And my grand opening party is this weekend, and I'm really excited. I know that it's all going to work out for the best and um, everything. So I plan on doing giveaways for you guys on here because I'm allowed to do that. I'm allowed to make baskets and sell them. I'm allowed to do promo codes and discounts and all that. I'm in control of my own business. And that's what's awesome about Mary Kay. It's awesome because there are seminars to go to to learn about different products and how to use them, um, how to benefit from it, um, just everything you can think of. Meet new people, um, dress up, get to feel like an awesome person, and it's just great. So I'm really excited, and I will definitely do update videos and um, routine videos, like not routine, but like <laughs> what to use where, what's the best products, what's the best sellers, anything like that. And if you are interested in buying Mary Kay, please come to me because I would love, love, love to sell you guys some Mary Kay. And um, they do have sales every now and then. And if you'll follow me on Instagram, I'll... Um, leave my link below to my Instagram. I will take pictures of sales and stuff and you can contact me on here or you can send me an email on makeupchick at gmail.com and or you can message me on here, either one. But yeah, so I'm really passionate about this and I know I'm going to go far. It may take me a little time to get started off, but I know I, without a doubt that I meant to do this and start off like this. So I'm really excited. And if you need me girls... Or like thinking, yeah, that's my dream too, to be a makeup artist or makeup, like, just a seller. You can sell makeup. Either one is fine. You don't have to do makeup to sell makeup. I mean, I'm sure a lot of Mary Kay and other people, you know, they're not really that great at doing makeup. Which, I'm not saying I'm the best, but <laughs> I'm just saying that you don't really have to be good at it to sell it. But it also builds a lot of confidence, I know, and I can't wait to meet all those beautiful women who are just so passionate like myself. So, But yeah, if you decide you want to do this, yeah, you can do it. And don't let anyone tell you different. Don't, don't kid yourself and say, well, the doctors make more money or, you know, a teacher makes more money. I'll, I'll be better off being a teacher. No, that's not true. If, you, if you're passionate about something and you're good at it, yeah, you're going to make more money doing what you love and that you're good at. I mean, people are going to notice that. So, I recommend doing what you love, even if someone else is napping at you saying, you know, you're not going to make any money, you're not going to do this, you're not going to do that. Don't listen to them. Just say, I'm passionate about it. I'm going to I'm gonna do great. And just keep telling yourself, don't give up. Don't give up. It'll work out, and it always does. Yeah, yeah. just thank you so much, guys. For all your support, I'm so excited about being able to put stuff on here. I'm so glad she said that I could, um, like, put Mary Kay stuff on my channel. So, that's really good. I can advertise for them and for myself. So, I definitely will. And I'll definitely be honest. If I don't like some of the products, I will say, you know, I wasn't really crazy about this product. Or, it wasn't worth the money. Or, you know, something like that. I will be honest about stuff. I'm not going to make stuff up about products that don't even really do what I think they should do. Because if I don't like it or if I can't wear it, then usually I'm not going to be a good salesperson for that product. So, that leaves me with, if you're interested in buying anything or looking at anything or information about anything you've heard about, like Mary Kay Wise, then just let me know because I definitely have some information and, um will help you whatsoever so but yeah I would love to answer any questions and just comment below and like this video if you think I should do um like a starter kit for Mary Kay like what you should buy first or anything like that a tutorial maybe with their eyeshadow or foundations anything so like this video if you want to see more about Mary Kay and I'll just see you in my next video guys bye